It's 2025. The world is at a pivotal moment in history, where technological advancements and geopolitical shifts are happening at an unprecedented pace. The world is changing fast, with new innovations in technology and rapid urbanization transforming the way we live and interact. As these changes unfold, countries around the globe are rethinking their defenses, adapting to new threats and opportunities. Portugal, a country with a long history of sea power and a key spot in the Atlantic, needs to update its air force. Its strategic location makes it a crucial player in both European and global security. Their old F-16S need replacing, and they're looking for a new all-purpose fighter jet. The F-16S have served them well, but the demands of modern warfare require more advanced capabilities. This is a big decision, one that will affect Portugal's defense for decades to come. The choice of a new fighter jet is not just about replacing old equipment, it's about ensuring the country's security and maintaining its influence. Portugal is taking this seriously. Military officials are meticulously reviewing every detail, from the technical specifications of the jets to the strategic implications of their choice. They're looking at all their options. Each potential aircraft is being evaluated for its performance, versatility, and how well it can integrate with existing systems. There's a lot to think about, how much things cost, the long-term maintenance expenses, and the overall return on investment. Budget constraints are always a concern, but so is the need for cutting-edge technology. What the planes need to do is another critical factor. They must be capable of performing a variety of missions, from air-to-air -air combat to ground support and reconnaissance, and even what other countries think plays a role. Portugal's allies and partners are watching closely, as the choice of a new fighter jet could influence regional security dynamics and collaborative defense efforts. This update, called Air Force 5.3, shows that Portugal wants to stay strong in a world that's becoming more and more uncertain. The initiative reflects a commitment to modernizing the military and staying ahead of potential threats. Picking a new fighter jet is tough. It involves rigorous testing, pilot training, and ensuring that the new aircraft can seamlessly integrate into the existing fleet. It means balancing what's important and figuring out each plane's good and bad points. Military analysts are working tirelessly to compare the performance data, looking at everything from speed and agility to durability and ease of maintenance. Portugal's Air Force has a proud history, and this new chapter is about building on that legacy. The decision they make now will shape the future of their defense strategy and ensure that they remain a formidable force in the skies. As Portugal navigates this complex decision, the world watches. Their choice will not only impact their national security, but also set a precedent for other nations facing similar challenges. The quest for a new fighter jet is more than just a military upgrade. It's a statement of intent and a step towards a secure future. At first, the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, a supermodern stealth fighter, looked like the best choice. With its cool features like stealth technology, advanced sensors, and ability to connect with other planes and systems, it seemed perfect. It could make Portugal's Air Force one of the best in the world. The F-35 wasn't just about technology. Portugal, a strong ally of the United States, wanted to use similar equipment. The F-35, the main fighter jet for the U.S. Air Force, was a symbol of American power. It seemed like a way for Portugal to join the club of top air forces. The F-35 also meant Portugal could work better with other NATO countries that use the plane. This would help them train together and defend each other. But as time went on, people started to wonder if the F-35 was right for Portugal. It was very expensive to buy and to keep running. At over $80 million each, the F-35 was a big chunk of Portugal's defense budget, and they might not be able to buy many. Also, the F-35 is complicated to maintain. Portugal, with its smaller budget, worried about keeping the planes in good shape. The F-35 needs parts from all over the world. This gives Portugal access to what it needs, but it also makes them rely on other countries, which some people didn't like. Besides the cost, the F-35 is made for big intense fights against high-tech enemies. Portugal mostly needs planes to patrol the ocean, rescue people, and guard its airspace. Section 4. The Rise of the Gripen, a Pragmatic Alternative As doubts about the F-35 grew, the Saab JAS-39 Gripen, a Swedish fighter jet, became a real possibility. The F-35, while advanced, faced numerous challenges, including high costs and technical issues. This made countries like Portugal reconsider their options. 
The Gripen is known for being flexible, affordable, and tough. Its design allows it to adapt to various missions, from air defense to reconnaissance. The cockpit is equipped with state-of-the-art technology, ensuring pilots have the best tools at their disposal. It was a good option for Portugal, costing less to buy and run. The operational costs of the Gripen are significantly lower than many of its competitors, making it an economically sound choice for countries with tighter defense budgets. It also worked well in different situations. Whether in the cold climates of Sweden or the warmer regions of Southern Europe, the Gripen has proven its reliability and versatility. Its ability to perform in diverse environments makes it a valuable asset for any air force. The Gripen can take off and land on short runways, which is important for Portugal. This capability is crucial for operations in areas with limited infrastructure. It ensures that the aircraft can be deployed quickly and efficiently, even in remote locations. This lets their air force cover their large ocean area and respond quickly to threats. Portugal's extensive coastline requires vigilant monitoring, and the Gripen's rapid deployment capabilities make it ideal for maritime patrols and quick response missions. Plus, Saab, the company that makes the Gripen, offered to work with Portugal. This collaboration goes beyond just selling aircraft. It includes training, maintenance, and long-term support, ensuring that Portugal can maximize the Gripen's potential. They promise to share technology, build some parts in Portugal, and create jobs. This not only boosts the local economy, but also enhances Portugal's technological capabilities. The transfer of knowledge and skills is a significant benefit of this partnership. Portugal liked this because it helps their own defense industry and makes them less reliant on other countries. By developing their own capabilities, Portugal can ensure greater self-sufficiency and resilience in their defense strategy. The Gripen looked even better when people started to worry about the United States. Concerns about the reliability of international alliances made countries like Portugal seek alternatives that offered more control and independence. The Trump administration's changing policies made some wonder if the U.S. would always support its allies. This uncertainty pushed Portugal to consider options that would ensure their security and defense needs were met without relying solely on American support. The Gripen's agility and speed are also noteworthy. It can perform complex maneuvers with ease, making it a formidable opponent in aerial combat. This performance capability adds another layer of appeal for countries looking to strengthen their air defense. Training and support from Saab ensure that pilots and ground crews are well prepared. Comprehensive training programs are part of the package, ensuring that the transition to using the Gripen is smooth and effective. The Gripen has also been showcased in various international air shows, demonstrating its capabilities to a global audience. These demonstrations have helped build its reputation as a reliable and advanced fighter jet. In conclusion, the Saab JAS-39 Gripen presents a pragmatic alternative for countries like Portugal. Its combination of affordability, versatility and strong support from Saab makes it a compelling choice in the ever-evolving landscape of global defense. Section 5. Gripen versus the European Contingent In the world of modern military aviation, the competition to be the top fighter jet is fierce. The Gripen, developed by Saab, is one of the notable contenders, but it wasn't the only aircraft vying for attention and contracts. The European continent has produced several formidable jets that have caught the eyes of many defense ministries around the world. The Gripen wasn't the only F-35 competitor. European jets like the Eurofighter Typhoon and the Dassault Rafale also looked good. These aircraft have been designed with cutting-edge technology and have been tested in various combat scenarios proving their mettle time and again. European jets like the Eurofighter Typhoon and the Dassault Rafale also looked good. The Eurofighter Typhoon, a product of collaboration among several European nations, stands out with its agility and advanced avionics. On the other hand, the Dassault Rafale, a French marvel, boasts versatility and a robust combat record. They both had impressive features and political support. The Eurofighter Typhoon, for instance, has been backed by countries like the UK, Germany, Italy and Spain. This multi-nation support not only ensures a steady stream of funding, but also a shared pool of technological advancements and upgrades. The Eurofighter Typhoon, built by several European countries, is great for air-to-air -air combat. Its design emphasizes speed, maneuverability and advanced radar systems, making it a formidable opponent in dogfights.
the aircraft's ability to detect and engage multiple targets simultaneously gives it a significant edge in aerial combat scenarios. Its radar and electronic systems make it a tough opponent. The Typhoon's Captor E radar, for example, provides superior tracking capabilities, while its electronic warfare suite ensures it can counter a wide range of threats. These systems work in tandem to provide pilots with unparalleled situational awareness and combat effectiveness. France's Dassault Rafale is another good choice. This aircraft is renowned for its multi-role capabilities, allowing it to perform a variety of missions with ease. Whether it's air superiority, ground attack or reconnaissance, the Rafale can handle it all. It can do many things, from fighting other planes to attacking ground targets. The Rafale's versatility is further enhanced by its advanced weaponry, including air-to-air -air missiles, precision-guided bombs, and a powerful cannon. This makes it a true force multiplier on the battlefield. It's a true all-purpose jet. The Rafale's ability to switch roles seamlessly during a mission is a testament to its design and engineering. This adaptability ensures that it remains relevant in a variety of combat scenarios, making it a valuable asset for any air force. Portugal, wanting to work more with Europe, thought hard about these jets. The decision to choose a new fighter jet is not just about the aircraft's capabilities but also about political and strategic alliances. For Portugal, aligning more closely with European partners was a significant factor in their decision-making process. Working together on defense within the European Union and being more independent was appealing. The idea of a unified European defense strategy, where member countries collaborate and share resources, is an attractive proposition. It not only strengthens the collective security of the region but also reduces dependency on non-European powers. Even the older F-16V, an updated F-16 was still an option. The F-16V, with its modern avionics and upgraded systems, offers a cost-effective solution for countries looking to enhance their air capabilities without breaking the bank. It's cheaper, easier to maintain, and Portuguese pilots already know how to fly it. The familiarity factor cannot be underestimated. Pilots and ground crews who are already trained on the F-16 can transition to the F-16V with minimal additional training, ensuring operational readiness in a shorter time frame. It's a practical choice, even if it's not the newest technology. In the end, the decision to choose a fighter jet involves balancing performance, cost, and strategic considerations. While the latest technology is always appealing, sometimes the most practical choice is the one that offers reliability, ease of maintenance, and 